Mukbang episode Korean barbecue. Man, it's me. What? Have you tried real Korean barbecue yet? No. So where is Korean barbecue from? Korea? Exactly, so pack your bags and go. I haven't been to Korea yet. Even better, it will be fun. Now go! I, I haven't eaten yet though. Long hair don't care, I call the shots. Come on, just this one time, just let me eat and I'll be out of here, I promise. No, and you're wasting time. Pack your bags and you have to see the field of lights as well. I have to go to Korea to eat real Korean barbecue first. They say you are what you eat, so I'm Korean barbecue. from Korea. I have this beautiful barbecue set up here. I'm in a restaurant called Hanamasa, which is a Korean barbecue restaurant. I have this place all to myself. They're playing Lenka really loud in the radio. Whatever, I'm here for the food. So they put the grill is ready over here. They put some beef fat so nothing sticks. Now they just handed me some seafood kimchi soup. It's red soup with clams and prawns inside, mussels. Tastes like kimchi soup, it's great. Here's my meat plate. If you want to take a snapshot, now is the chance. Hashtag Kansamida, hashtag Taekwondo, hashtag Eminem, hashtag Beefy, hashtag Steakalicious Purplicious. Makes the girls go loco. Now the grill is nice and hot. You can hear it sizzling. Okay, maybe you saw that flame. I'm gonna put on all the meat. This is all beef. Yep. This is all marinated beef slices. And these are like sausages. And this is like a ham piece or something. It's sizzling, it's sizzling hot. This is real fire. Now what I like to do is take this beef fat and put it on top of all the meat again just so it adds a little flavor. God, I'm so impatient. I want to eat all this now. Okay, first bite, a little piece of sausage. Great, now Westlife is playing. I haven't heard Westlife in like forever. Okay, this meat is kind of rare-ish. I'm gonna dip it into this sauce over here. I hope you guys are watching my vlog. It's getting a lot better. I don't understand why no one watches that. Okay, some garlic flakes. This is like Korean red pepper flake. Yeah, guys, why does no one watch my vlog? Yeah? Click in the description below to watch it. I mean, why does no one watch that? Why does everyone want to watch me eat instead of my beautiful vlog where I get to travel and actually explore things? Oh well. Oh, and have you guys actually watched the Brazilian churrasco episode, where my buddy Daniel and I go to a Brazilian all-you-can-eat restaurant. Click over here on this window to watch that video, now.
They're like beef franks, you know? All beef, all beef everything. This establishment does not have any pork. That means I'm gonna have to do another Korean barbecue, but with pork. You know, usually it's always large families coming around here, sitting together. I'm alone, whatever. But when I used to come here with my family, they would always grill the meat and stuff like that for themselves and I would just go in there and pick their meat, pretend it was mine the whole time. I'm like the favorite person in my family. Actually, I'm kidding, no, no one in my family likes me. Because this meat is so thinly sliced and marinated, you can just leave it on the grill forever. It won't really get too dry or too tough. Okay, every time I go to Korea, everyone seems to think I'm Korean. Well, it happens the same in China and in Japan and whatnot. But do I really look Korean? That was a hack, by the way. I put the sauce into the grill. Hopefully it doesn't flare up. Now Maroon 5 is playing. Good times. Okay, now this whole bowl is full of beef, full of rice. YOLO. This Korean barbecue is located in an all-you-can-eat, so I got myself more beef, more sausages, and a chicken breast, just to mix it up a little bit. You know what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, chicken breast on the grill. All this beef. Heavy stuff, man. Sausages. More sausages and kimchi. I'm just gonna take some more garlic, garlic flakes here. Distribute them on top. And more Korean red pepper flake. There we go. Kimchi soup. Wow, although this grill doesn't seem to be that hot, look at the color on the chicken breast. I think it's just the combination of a really, really good chef and the chicken breast and a very mediocre grill. Who knows? Okay, a little, a little technique. I'm just gonna pour the sauce onto the grill in the theory that it becomes nice and sticky and gooey. Which will hopefully work. There we go. A little more garlic flake. This is exactly what I love about Korean barbecue. No rules. I can take it off when it's rare. I can take it off when it's raw. I can take it off when it's well done. However the hell I like it. You know? I like to eat my meat raw as well. There's a, you know, there's medium rare, rare, whatnot, but there's one called black and blue, where only the surface of the beef is fried, the rest is still completely raw. That's my favorite way to eat a steak. Now I know you guys are like, oh no, it's not USDA approved. You know what, I grew up in Europe where it's okay to eat raw beef. We eat raw pork as well. Um, you know, if you're not a wimp, you can eat rare beef too, raw beef. Okay, all this meat is cooked. There's no pretty way to do this. Just devour. Let's go. Look at this steak. So much steak. And as you notice, in this Korean barbecue, no veggies. I don't like veggies. 
So I'm just gonna eat meat. If anyone has a problem with it, go watch the vegetarian channel. I'll see you there. I've eaten raw chicken before, but not in Indonesia. So I'm just gonna let the breast hang out for a little longer. The last slice is a beef. Fresh from the barbecue, with all that good barbecue flavor. Everything is better on a barbecue, except ice cream. Okay, I just sent the chicken to the kitchen so they could cut it for me. I don't have any cutting device here. Maybe they think it's dangerous to empower me with something like that. Chicken piece. I know it's a little late, but it's drinks matching time. This is just Sprite. Wow, brain freeze. Okay. Last pieces of chicken and then we're done here. That's it. Mukbang, Korean barbecue is over, sadly. I finished all the food, it was absolutely freaking delicious. I have to come back to a different Korean barbecue that sells pork as well. Thanks for watching this episode of Mukbang with Ben, Awesome Eats. I hope you look forward to the other shows and please click the vlog, I work so much on it. I'm really wondering why no one ever watches that, yeah? Click on it, link is over here in the description box. Ben's Day is what it's called, check it out.